going on guys, Tavor Champion Plays here, and welcome back to another tier list video, and yeah, we have another NASCAR tier list, yeah. Oh, you really thought the one from yesterday was it? Yeah. You're terribly mistaken. Shut your sk We got another NASCAR tier list, and it's all about the tracks, and we're gonna check them all right now, because we're cooling down with that. Everybody get around, buckle up, because here we go. Alright, here we are. This is all the tracks. That are currently on the NASCAR schedule on all yes, three sir. series yes, at the moment. Yes, and starting off first, we have Atlanta Motor Speedway. Yeah, I think it's an A tier track because it's a really good driver's track, too. I mean, yeah. The asphalt is pretty old, and I really think they should repave it now. Yeah, Bristol. 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 Shh, come on. It's a short track. Bristol S tier. No cap. Also got the Bristol dirt. I saw, I saw a lot of the Bristol dirt, and hey, I'm glad they're doing it again that next year because man, that was good. S tier as well. Fuck no baby. We have Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, say it's a either a B tier at least for the last couple of years, but definitely. An A tier track, maybe. It was a pretty good track for me. I, I've been watching NASCAR since I was been watching since the 2012 season. Charlotte Rovo. Charlotte Rovo, though. S tier. Really think, you know, Charlotte's decision to make the Rovo back in 2018 was probably one of the best things that's happened <laughs> in this sport, if we're ever being honest. It has to be Circuit of the Americas. As an F1 track, um,. And the IndyCar track, I put I put it in A tier. I, I would definitely put it in A tier. I mean, it sucks that F1 will probably go back there next year because the new Miami Grand Prix, and I'm very hype about that. But the Miami Grand Prix, but I'm not gonna really assume anything about this track yet. Once NASCAR, I think NASCAR is gonna hit in June. I think uh, the track too tough to tr tame. Darlington <clears throat> and that race that past weekend, pretty fucking good. Pretty good. Darlington is definitely an A tier track. I don't think I I can name a bad Darlington race. Daytona, bro. Come on. Do I need to dis Do I need to explain Daytona? Do we Do we need to explain Daytona? I don't think we do. Daytona Road Course. Um. Daytona Road Course. Uh. Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah, an A. It's an A tier track. I mean, it's an A tier track. I mean, the first two races were actually pretty, pretty good, if I'm being honest. Dover, Dover, and that's the track we're we're at this weekend, I believe. Uh, I, I'll call it a B tier track, obviously, and for many reasons, it's 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 just it's just a good track. I mean, it's it's a pretty good track. Like, I don't think I can name a bad race for Dover. I I I, I think I. Can probably the most in the mid race in my opinion. I want to say the spring 2018 because not many people talked about that race. Auto Club, Auto Club, man, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that new short track. It's a decent track. I mean, racing wise, not always the best. I mean, yes, you know, it reaches 200 miles per hour. Yada yada yada. It's just. The races are not too bad. They're, they're, they're pretty decent in my opinion. All right, we have Gate. Uh, not a big fan of this track. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not an Indianapolis Motor Speed. Stupid. The Indy World Course. Um, uh, I saw the vicinity race from last year. Um, yeah, it's a C tier. It's a C tier. Obviously it has good Indy car. Lucas Oil Raceway. I think the trucks are going back there this year. Um. Lucas Oil has a track though, A tier, an A tier short track, and <laughs> again, I might be biased. I'm from Indiana, motherfucker. All right, Kansas. I don't know what's up with Kansas, but they be having some of the biggest crashes, bro. But track wise, I might have to put it at B tier. It's definitely one of those good half mile tracks with good racing as well. It's just they be having some fiery crashes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Knoxville. I heard Knoxville was a pretty good dirt track. Sucks that the trucks aren't going to Eldora, but as a dirt track, I will put Knoxville at S tier. 
Yeah, because I, I think I saw a race once on Speed. I remember that show with like, it was sponsored by Lucas Oil or something. It was like on the edge or something. And he showed like dirt races and everything. Yeah, and I think I saw one at Knoxville. And Knoxville is a pretty good track. Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Um, B tier. B, B tier, B, B tier track for sure. Martinsville. We know this. We, we know this. <laughs> Michigan. I want to say maybe after 2016, 2016, 2017. Um, the Michigan racer races are neither D tier or at C. Yeah, I'm gonna put it at C tier. It's 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 just it's just a mid track in my opinion. Mid Ohio. Um, uh, I will put this in Canadian Tire. Definitely a good track for the trucks. Um. Especially known for a couple of good finishes. I think it's an A tier. Nashville. And we're going I think all series all three series are going back to that track. Um I never really saw a four race of it. Uh, but it's looking to be an a B or T tier track. Again, this is in my opinion. I don't know how the actual racing will go. Just to keep in mind, may, hey, maybe at the end of the season, I'll probably come back here. I'm sorry to my New Hampshire people, but New Hampshire for like the past few years, that, that just sucked in my opinion. The new Phoenix, the new Phoenix, I'll give it a B tier. Pocono is, Pocono for me is kind of hit or miss. It can literally have neither a good race or a bad race. Um, I think it's a C tier track. Richmond, B tier. <laughs> Richmond, D B tier. It, it really has some good racing. Sonoma, definitely a B tier track. In my opinion, it sucks that they didn't go next last year, but hey, they're, they're coming back this year. Hell la digga. Um, I think there should be no discussion about this. <laughs> There should be no discussion about this. <laughs> Texas. <sighs> Getting the things people. Then last but not least, we have Watkins Glen. Watkins Glen. It's a it's an S tier track. It's an S tier track for me, bro. It's it always I mean, yeah, it's a short war course, kinda. But I really think it's a very good track. I can't wait for all of these races. That are currently on the schedule for all three series right now. It's just again, this is my opinion on the track. I I will probably make a video at the end of the 2021 season. Don't take it too serious. It's just my opinion for now, and we'll come back in November and we'll redo this entire tier list. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy these sets of NASCAR tier lists. Hey, you want to see more tier lists here on the channel? I got more coming on the way, especially this summer. Make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe with all notifications on so you don't miss an uploading. Hey, this is your boy, Tavor Champion Player, saying keep being amazing. I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Peace!